Kingdom Blessings. I'm Pastor Sheila. Are you ready to be blessed, revived, and refreshed? It's time for Moed Show Raga. Come on, let's get ready for the Word of God. You know how we do this. Come on, come on. Oh, Yeah, yeah, It's time for the world. The word of God, time. In His presence, joy, 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 joy. The word of the Lord is coming from 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 3 to 6. I'm reading from the Life Application Study Bible. It says, don't be concerned about the outward beauty that depends on fancy hairstyles, expensive jewelry, or beautiful clothes. You should be known for the beauty that comes from within, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which is so precious to God. That is the way the holy women of old made themselves beautiful. They trusted God and accepted the authority of their husband. For instance, Sarah obeyed her husband Abraham when she called him her master. You are daughters when you do what is right without fear of what your husband might do. The note says, we should not be obsessed by fashion, but neither should we be so unconcerned that we do not bother to care for ourselves. Hygiene, neatness, and grooming are important, but even more important are a person's attitude and inner spirit. True beauty begins inside. 
To be submissive to another's authority means to cooperate voluntarily out of love and respect for God and for that person. Ideally, submission is mutual. The scripture says in Ephesians 5.21, submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Even when it is one-sided, however, the expression of submission can be an effective Christian strategy. Jesus Christ submitted to death so that we could be saved. We may sometimes have to submit to unpleasant circumstances so that others will see Christ in us. Christian submission never requires us to disobey God or to participate in what our conscience forbids. One-sided submission requires tremendous strength. We could not do it without the power of the Holy Spirit working in us. My dearly beloveds, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear sons and daughters, I come to remind you that God loves a meek and quiet spirit. We are believers, sons of God, and we are called to be submissive to those who have authority over us. First, submissive to God. And then as a wife, submissive to my husband. Submissive to those that have rule over us, our bosses. Yeah, I know you don't like to hear that. But we are to be submissive. Now, I'm not saying, the Bible's not saying that we should be submissive if it's something that is contrary to the word of God. Because first, we must be submissive to God. Here, the scripture tells us, Peter is telling and instructing the women not to be overly concerned about beauty, about the beauty that the world deems as beauty. Expensive jewelry, expensive and fancy hairstyles. Now, that doesn't mean that we should look like rag muffins, that we should look just any old kind of way. Hygiene and personal care is important because again, we are ambassadors of the kingdom of heaven. So we don't want to look crazy. We don't want to look a mess, but we want to look nice representing our king for we're representing the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, but we're not trying to look like the world. See, we don't allow the world to set standards for us or set um, our dress code for us. Because anyway, if you go out there trying to find clothes, sometimes it's hard as a Christian, as a believer, to find something good to wear. But just because it's out there doesn't mean that we wear it because it may not be conducive to our belief. But we ought to be submissive again to the word of God, to our king, our husbands, to those who have rule over us. It says that we shouldn't be worried about outward beauty, but true beauty comes from within. Now, if you think about it, the Lord Jesus said that I will not have you comfortless. I will not leave you comfortless, but I'm going to send the Holy Spirit who will live in you. So if the Holy Spirit lives in us, he's a beauty. He's a beautiful spirit. Then we ought to be beautiful too. Because beauty starts within. It, it comes from within. Whatever is inside comes out. So beloved. Continue to let the Holy Spirit shine through you. Continue to let Jesus shine through you. We are lights of this world. We ought to be showing people the way to Jesus Christ. Not worrying so much about all the outward beauty. And I know, I know some people, especially if you're a teenager or a young person, you try to keep up with the styles and things like that, but... We need to keep up with Jesus Christ. That's what we need to do. We need to make sure that we are in alignment with the word of God. 
but a quiet and a gentle spirit is very precious to God. Sometimes we need to just be quiet, just be still. God loves that. And we'll be able to hear him speak to us. This is how the holy women of, of the Bible, how older women kept themselves. They trusted in God and they accepted the authority of their husband. Sarah obeyed her husband. She called him master. And it says, you are daughters. You are her daughters when you do what is right without fear of what your husband might do. So we are daughters of Sarah. So that means we should follow in her footsteps and be submissive to our husband, loving, kind. Because again, a gentle and a quiet spirit is precious unto God. Mary had that kind of spirit. She sat at his feet, listening to his every word. So I'm encouraging you, daughter, obey those that have rule over you. But again, it goes more, not just one way, it's two ways. We should submit ourselves one to another. As believers, we ought to love each other. And when we love, that's beautiful. And it's precious in God's sight. He loves when his children get along. So let's ask the Lord to help us. Help us to walk on the truth. Help us to shine forth his beauty everywhere we go. Let's pray, Father. Father, in the mighty matchless name of Yeshua Amashir. We come before you. We lay everything at your feet. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. We say, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Lord, we look to you. You are the author and finisher of our faith. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for the work that you're doing on the inside of us. For greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that you placed inside of us to dwell. Holy Spirit, we want you to be strong in us. Use us for your glory. Use us for your honor. Father, I'm praying for every ministry gift, every fivefold ministry gift. The apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, pastor, and teacher. Praying for intercessors. Praying for missionaries, God. Praying for the backsliders, for rulers and those that are ministers and bishops. Oh God, I'm praying for your leaders. I'm praying for the bride of Christ, the body of Christ, the church at large, oh God. Help us to represent you well. Help us to stand still and see your salvation. For you always cause us to triumph. For this we thank you. Daddy, we love you and we bless you. We honor you. Father, we just love you with all our heart, mind, and soul. We thank you for what you're doing in our lives. Continue to use us for your glory. Father, I pray for those under the sound of my voice, those that will listen to the replay. God, I'm praying that you would just assist them, Lord. Holy Spirit, work in their lives as never before. Lay your hands on us today, Daddy. Set the captives free. Oh, God, we love you. And we decree that we will fulfill every purpose, plan, and destiny that you have for our lives. We say yes to your will and yes to your way. We love you. We humble ourselves before you, King of kings and Lord of lords. Great Jehovah. We ask in the mighty name of Jesus, thanking you in advance for what you have done, for hearing our prayer always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Well, beloved, this has been Moed Shorada, the appointed time of refreshing. I pray that you've been blessed, revived, and refreshed. 
in the presence of the Lord. Before I go, I want to remind you, this Friday, those of you that are in the area or would like to join us, it doesn't matter how far you are. If you want to come on down, come on down to York, Pennsylvania. We'll be worshiping the Lord in spirit and in truth. Join us for worshiping God, our King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Won't you come and worship with us at Worship Refreshing? That's being hosted by Apostle Sharon Lincoln at 155 South Hartley Street, York, Pennsylvania. That's the Well Worship Center. We'll be beginning at 6.30, 6.30 to 8. Come and let's bless the Lord together. And then I'm so excited, my goodness, November the 12th, Saturday, November 12th, is Kabad Encounter 2022. This is our fifth year hosting this encounter. Five years we have been pursuing the goodness of God, the glory of God, and we are praising Him for His goodness, praising Him for His grace. We have so many that have asked about it. Listen, our SVP, ASAP, before it's sold out, I'm telling you, it's going to be a blessing. Kabbalah Encounter 2022. You don't want to miss it. We have ministering with us Psalmist Carissa Rouse, the violin diva. Then we have Psalmist LaShawn Nieves, as well as for the very first time with us, Psalmist April Brown. Come and be blessed. Come and just press into the presence of the Lord. Come and soak in his glory. Come and encounter the Lord in a new way. We have prophetic voice team. We have Pastor Gary Fishman, Pastor Angela Reed. Uh, we have Apostle Kelly McCain and Prophetess Colette Douglas Brown. They will be decreeing and declaring the word of God over our lives and giving what thus saith the Lord. Whatever the Lord is saying during this time, direction, instruction, clarification, encouragement, exhortation, they will be speaking the word of the Lord so you don't want to miss it. Come and be blessed. Come and join in with us. Come on and bless the Lord with us. Saturday, November 12th, Kabbalah Encounter 2022. All the information for registration, you can go to Sheila Bruce Ministries dot company dot site and register today. These are vineyard announcements and I pray that you continue to be blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord. Shalom.